Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do a DIY dyno suit that requires no sewing. Let's get started. Here is a quick list of all the materials that you'll need for this project and I'll make sure to link all of these in the description box below for you. First you'll need a full length footed hooded pajama in any color of your choice and then you'll need two foam sheets in any color of your choice. I'll link the size to these in the description below. One white foam sheet, one felt sheet that matches the color of the pajamas. I have two shown in the picture, but I only wound up using one for the project. One ball cap that matches the color of the pajamas, two large googly eyes, a hot glue gun, hot glue gun sticks, and a pencil or pen, something to mark the fabric with. So I was working on this in the evening, so it's a little shadowy and dark, so bear with me on the lighting. But first we're gonna work on the dino's face, which is the ball cap that you have. And you can choose whatever color, obviously, that you'd like. And then we're also gonna use the white foam sheet to make the teeth. So we're gonna take our pencil and we're just gonna make little zigzag lines across the top of the paper about an inch I would say from the top of the paper and just start making your lines. The foam can be a little tricky to write on. It can get caught when going in the upward direction so I just went downward to make the teeth on the foam paper. There is no exact formula for making the teeth. They don't have to be perfect by any means. The jagged, the more jagged, the better, I would say, just because it makes it more fun and more dinosaur-like, so just go for it. You'll want to take this zigzag pattern from one side of the white foam paper to the other side of the white foam paper. We're using the shorter side of this white foam sheet, so just from one side to the other, all the way across. Then you're going to want to take your scissors. I forgot to add that to the materials list, so you will need scissors for this project. I started the cut about an inch down from um, where I made the zigzags because I was making two costumes so in order to make two sets of teeth I cut an inch further down and then just cut across the zigzag line and this made two sets of teeth. So just start at one end and you'll cut all the way across. Next, you'll want to take the white foam sheet that you've just cut out for the teeth and place it underneath the bill of the ball cap. And you'll want to adjust it so that you have the right amount of teeth showing, whatever your preference. Once you've got that in place, just take your hot glue gun and put a little bit right there on the edge just to hold this in place so that you can keep the teeth the length that you want them to be as you glue them across the bill of the ball cap. Then you're just gonna kind of work this foam piece across the bill of the ball cap just to get an idea of how the teeth are gonna fit. So I quickly figured out that I could just fold the foam piece over to make it curve around the edge of the bill of the ball cap. So just kind of fold it over and then you'll want to glue that little fold over down so that it holds in place so that you can continue to move across the bill of the ball cap, attaching the teeth as you go. So you'll just wanna continue this process across the front of the curve of the bill until you get all the way across. So just keep making those little folds and then tacking those folds down with a little bit of the glue from the hot glue gun until you reach the other side of the ball cap. So once you have the foam teeth attached from one side to the other, you'll want to go back and see if there are any gaps that need to be closed. Just put a little hot glue in there and then press it firmly to the top of the cap and close up any of those gaps. So once I finished that step, I realized that the teeth were a little longer on one side than the other. So I just took my scissors and gave them a little trim so that they were the same length as the other side. And that is the completed dino teeth portion of the costume. So now let's move on to the next step. We're going to attach the googly eyes to the top of the ball cap. So first I put them on a cap just to see where I wanted to place them. 
Once you have an idea of where you want the eye to be attached, just mark it with your pencil. And then you want to grab your glue gun and glue them on and then repeat for the other side. Finishing off the eyes of the dinosaur face, you're gonna take some felt and angle it across one of the googly eyes and kind of get an idea of where you wanna to cut to make the eyelid. We're gonna make this an angry, scary dinosaur. So just hold it in place and then take your scissors and cut around the googly eye to make an angry eye. So to make the matching angry eyelid for the other googly eye, you're just going to overlay the cutout onto the felt piece and just cut the same pattern out for the other eye. Once you've got those both cut out, you're just going to lay them over the eye and angle them toward the middle of the bill of the cap. The more angled, the angrier the dino. So we're gonna make this a pretty angry dino. So we're gonna angle these really high up on the ends. Get this dinosaur looking real fierce. Once you've got them where you want them, just glue them down to secure them in place. To help me get the angle just right, I put a little glue in the inner corner of the eyelid and then angled the outer corner exactly where I wanted it and then tacked that down with some glue. And then I just ran the glue gun across the top of the entire eyelid. And just like that, you've got some angry dino eyes. I did go back underneath the cap and trimmed the foam piece that was connected to the bill. I didn't want that to be poking my kids in the eye, so I just trimmed off a little excess. So you can do that if you need to as well. So that's it for the dino head part of the project. Now let's move on to the next portion. Okay, so for this next part, I want to lay the pajama suit out flat with the backside facing up. And you'll wanna take the felt sheet that matches the color of the pajama set. And you're gonna to wanna to measure about a hand width up from the crotch area. And you'll mark that with a pencil. And that is going to be where you will attach the dino tail. So give it a good mark so you can see where to place it. Then you wanna measure about a hand width for the base of the tail. So there are no exact measurements here, just kind of eyeballing things, but I measured my hand across the top of the felt. Then I folded the felt sheet in half and lined up the markings that I measured from my hand width. And I laid the felt flat, kind of smoothed it out so that it was nice and flat all across, and then grabbed my scissors and started to make the cut. I started at the top of the fabric and then just kind of tapered the tail inward down towards the very bottom of the felt sheet. And there it is. Now the dino tail is ready to be attached. So just grab your hot glue gun and place a dot right where that marking was to get your tail attached. I went ahead and took the edges of the tail, of the base of the tail and folded them under on both sides just to give the tail a more rounded look so that there wasn't such a harsh edge at the top. And then I took my glue gun and just glued them down. So you'll want to go ahead and secure the base of the tail. Just run your glue gun across the top there and then give it a good little press to make sure that it's nice and attached. I went ahead and flipped the dino tail up and put another line of glue right underneath just to make sure it was really secure. I know the kids will be sitting down and the tail will be right there underneath their little booties. So we want to make sure this is nice and attached. All done, moving on. Okay, for this next part, you're gonna need the two sheets of colored foam, any color of your choice, but we're gonna use these to attach them along the seam line of the hood to get our spikes and stripes started. I didn't do a great job of filming this part, so I'm just gonna explain it to you, but I laid both sheets on top of each other, created a zigzag design similar to the teeth, and started cutting. 
And this is what I ended up with for the spikes of the costume. And then I use these longer version of that pattern for the stripes. So I just took them and added probably three inches along the bottom, and then I'm gonna cut them straight down to make the individual stripes. So you'll wanna make sure to secure the two foam cutouts to each other by going down one side and top of the other side and then leaving the three inch flap open at the bottom. Then to create your stripe design, just take your scissors and kind of cut a little wavy line from the top corner of the triangle down to the bottom of that and then turn it over and do the same thing on the other side, moving up towards the corner of the triangle. So once you've got that cut out, this is what the stripes will look like when laid flat on the costume. You can cut your stripes however you'd like. You'll see on the additional costume that I made for my son, I cut the stripes straight down, made kind of a diamond shape with them. So feel free to be creative and do this however you'd like. So just repeat this process for all of these stripes and spikes that you've cut out, and then we'll be all ready to attach them to the dino suit. For this next step, you will want to find the seam line on the hood. We're gonna start on the hood. So find the seam line, and then you're gonna take the spike and you're gonna fold open the flap that we left unglued and kind of press it down so that it stays wide open for you. And then you're gonna set that along the seam line of the hood. And then just take your glue gun and glue both flaps down to secure it to the hood. Make sure to check the edges of each flap and if they're not secure just take a little bit more glue and secure those down so that they're nice and smooth against the hood. Then you're going to take your stripe and repeat this process gluing the base, the middle part down first and then taking your hot glue gun and following along the stripe line and securing those down to the hood. And here is what the stripe spike pattern will start to look like. So we're just gonna repeat this pattern all the way down the hood. I actually found it was easier to lay the hood flat to find the seam line and then just place the stripes and spikes right over the seam line as it laid flat and glue both sides down. So just keep that in mind as you go through this process that I found that was a bit easier. So give that a try when you're doing this and maybe you'll find it was easier for you too. Okay, so moving on to the stripes on the back side of the PJs. You're gonna to wanna to take your pencil and just mark a line down the middle of the back all the way down to the base of the tail. So just right in the middle, all the way down. This will give you a baseline for your stripes so that you can kind of keep them in line. Um, definitely need to do this to help me keep these spikes and stripes straight down the back. So just make a line and then you're gonna repeat the process of gluing the stripes and spikes until you reach the base of the tail. So once you reach the base of the tail, I tried to find a stripe that would cover the seam line of the tail. So I kind of just flipped it back and forth until it fit across the top of the tail. I think this just gave it a little more of a seamless look from top to bottom. It's not required, but definitely something that you can try. So once I reached the tail, I kind of lined up the rest of the spikes and stripes that I had left just to see how they would line up towards the end of the tail. And I had just enough to reach the end. There was probably about an inch of the tail that wasn't covered, which I thought was perfectly fine for this project. So what you'll want to do is again, mark a straight line from the base of the tail to the end of the tail. 
So get any straight edge, take your pencil, draw a line from top to bottom just to help you keep that line going straight down at the back side. Then continue gluing alternating stripes and spikes until you reach the end of the tail. As I moved towards the end of the tail, I realized the stripe was a little bit big and kind of overlapped on the sides. So I just took my scissors and trimmed it down so that was a little shorter. So you'll wanna do this too so that it doesn't hang over the side of the tail towards the end. All right, we are all done with these stripes and spikes and they look so cute. So to clean up the project, I took some painter's tape and just kind of touched it up along the sides of the stripes and spikes because you know if you're working with a hot glue gun, that's gonna leave lots of little stringies, which are not so cute on a costume. Oh my gosh, look how cute this turned out. The kids loved it. They couldn't wait to try them on. Little dinosaurs. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.